Sakai! Sensei, any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai, but she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. Come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The locals are Mongols training there. I suspect Tomoe was with them. If Tomoe is truly fearless, she'd make a useful ally. A starving leopard is fearless too. Leopards can't master your way of the bow. Let it go, Sakai. She will never join us. Why did she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. And not the first time she's made it. We don't know it was her fault. You don't. I do. You have to climb to get there. Sure you can make it, Sensei? What are you waiting for, Sakai? You need a hand, Sensei? Not bad, Sakai. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows, Mongol and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. Move it, Sakai. How many Mongols is Tomoe training? A severed head. Used for target practice. Sensei! Mongols here! Sensei! I need help! Sosho! 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 Good work, Sakai. Resting your bow arm, Sensei? Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here? Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> Where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. If we catch her, do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving, or you'll die. 
Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer. Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the sensei and the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. Hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. I've seen enough! I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai.
Precision. Kill three at once. Give me an edge. Sakai. Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Yoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? Hmm. A few archers at strategic points can isolate a whole town. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. Tomoe was a good student. Too good. We're fighting your own reflection. We will turn that to our advantage. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. We want to control movement in and out of Yoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? That path behind the inn. No. Poor cover, no clear lines of sight. You want to cover the largest territory with the fewest archers. It would be smart to control the main entrance into town. Mm, people already avoid the main road. Archers there would be wasted. A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. The road south runs along a high ridge. Perfect place to rain down arrows. Tomoe would agree. There's hope for you. Let's go hunting. What else did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including why you left Clan Nago? That's no secret. It was time to retire, and the hot spring suited me. You would never willingly retire. I see. What's your explanation? My uncle said you became close to a commoner, and Lord Nago was forced to cover it up. <laughs> your uncle has an interesting sense of humor. You weren't forced out? Samurai always has a choice. But do you regret giving up a warrior's life? Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. We're getting close. Eyes open. me first!
All those innocent, dead. Tomoe has thrown everything away. Betrayed our people. The Mongols know how to divide and conquer. They turned one of my oldest friends against me. The weak in spirit desire wealth, power, and status. That makes them easy to turn. Weak or not, Tomoe and Yuzo knew they were born with less than they deserved. Now you're being too kind. Kindness can be useful, even to a warrior. Who told you that? Sun Tzu? My uncle. And he didn't tell me. He showed me. Mercy creates a debt. Your uncle showed mercy to people who pose no danger to him. Kutu! Ambush! Snake nest to find. Come. How did Tomoe become your student? She showed up at my dojo with her father's makeshift hunting bow. And refused to leave. You didn't turn her away. I tried. But she sank arrow after arrow into my targets. I had never seen talent like hers. She must have had training. Her form was wrong. Would have been useless in a real fight. But she had no fear of missing a shot. She never hesitated. A warrior's spirit. No. Killers. I didn't see until it was too late. Ishikawa. You know the name Ishikawa? I do. I have message. Speak. Sensei, all of Hiyoshi Springs will beg for mercy, like the victims of Hironori now. Silence! <laughs> Hironori Nagao. Didn't he die fighting bandits? It was decades ago. He was reputed to be a great archer. Did he study with you? No. Tomoe is spreading lies. But there's a seed of truth. She wants us to doubt each other. We are all that stands between Hiyoshi Springs and a bloodbath. Then we stand together. <sighs> we'll plan the town's defense at my dojo. Meet me there and be ready to fight.
That's my Sora. Sakai! We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand a fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. And humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or... We allow the Mongols to take it. Tomoe wins a victory and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it! Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Fine, Sakai. If you will attack from the north, we should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and... Listen! Did you hear that? One arrow, one death. Gods to sleep! Tomoe's new friends would visit. If the point was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Hyoshi Springs, the attack is starting. This way. If I fall today, promise me you will keep hunting Tomoe. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls, the most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense, but it won't be easy. It never is. You two, come here! What is it, my lords? Mongols are heading for Hiroshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lords. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have much time. What can we use to our advantage?
Not many options. We'll exploit the ones we have. Those barrels could do some damage. Hornets' nests. Excellent distraction. Dry grass. Lure the Mongols in. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Take these flaming arrows. And try not to burn yourself or me. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. The Mongols will be here soon. You're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, Sensei. Not bad, Sakai. I'm ready for more. So are they. Coming down the main road. I've got them. Sign of Tomoe. She'll come. More on the way. Help them cross the Sansu River. For now. There she is. That's Tomoe? Burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there.
She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoe all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. But like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago. And you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new student. We need to keep after Tomoe. She has her sights set on Akashima. Look for me there. Lord Sakai, I studied poetry with your uncle. Lord Shimura is focused on defeating the Mongol Khan and taking back our island. He is a great leader, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? There's no time during war. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one, untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. Whispers through the trees, swaying freely in the wind, growing ever strong. The old man was right. My spirit feels at peace, strong. I should compose more poems. I 
once knew a man who claimed to make a deal with an angel. It wasn't long before he disappeared. My sister saw another samurai. Older man. Oh, the boy. She still with her. I'm surprised that I was having destroyed him in the sword. Nobody would dare to destroy money in this Tsushima? Sure. Masako said to find the monk in charge of his camp. He may be able to read the map I found on the traitor's brother. Lord Sakai, how good to see you. He'll drive these Mongols back across the sea. Can't find a single drop of sake alone. May I assist you, my lord? If you can bring more, it's yours. Junshin, I should have expected to find you here. How may I serve you, my lord? Do you know these lands well? I set up all of these camps. Does this map mean anything to you? Hmm. We give these to our wagon drivers who deliver food. They mark where the camps are so no one gets missed. Is that blood? Do you see anything that isn't one of your camps? I hear rumors of our own people killing each other in Ariake. Traitors are preying on innocent people. They murdered the women and children of Clan Arachi. You can help bring them to justice.
This map shows Ariake's lighthouse. We have no camps there, but people have said bandits have taken it over. Not bandits. Something worse. Lady Masako has arrived. I think she prefers to speak with you. What have you learned? The headman of Kuta village might be at the lighthouse. Clan Adache built that for Ariake. This traitor has no shame. Sadao has men protecting him. There's no way they won't see us coming. Good. I want to give that traitor just enough time to fear what's coming. Let's go. Why would Sadao betray you? I accused him of stealing rice. Starving our people to turn a profit. You think he caused the rice shortages that hit him? I could never prove it, but it was such a disaster. I knew he was trying to hide something. Bad men are good at hiding their true natures. Guards outside. The coward is hiding at the top. Sado! I've come for your head! Put a noise. Can only be him. <laughs> <laughs>
killed Hina, my brother! They died because of you! You should have died with your family! I wish I had! Damn you! You killed Sado. Masako. He helped kill everyone I loved. And for what? To satisfy his pathetic hatred? When the Mongols defeated the samurai, I wanted to die with them. I threw myself into a battle I knew I couldn't win. It was... easier. How do you survive? I remember that I have people to protect. And the dead to avenge. With Sado dead, whoever is responsible will hear that I'm alive and hunting. They'll become afraid, make a mistake. Just be careful, Masako. You too. You are a part of this now. The other traitors are somewhere in Toyotama. We'll find them together.
like slaves. Don't even feed us. You're safe now. Do you have friends who can help you? I was separated from my family in Tsutsu. Tried to catch up to them on the path to Ohama fishing village, but the Mongols were camped by the road. I couldn't outrun their horses. I'll clear that road. Be careful, and stay off the main paths.
My family has used white dye for generations. I thought all the samurai were dead. Is that any way to greet a visitor? Forgive my manners, my lord. I spend all my time alone. My only company is dyes and brushes, lacquer and cloth. I've perfected a shade of white like sparkling virgin snow in frozen jogaku. Bring me the necessary ingredients and I will adorn you in white like death itself. My work is impossible without the right materials. I'll see you again. Death himself is coming for us. My dyes are white as fresh snow. Mm-hmm. 